How are we doing, everybody? It's another beautiful day here in the Cheesy Moon Workshop. I am putting this little video together um, primarily to um, address Second Chance George. I watched his video today, and uh, it was just so ironic that uh, the knives he were he was cleaning up and working on. I have some of those same exact knives, two that I just acquired, a couple that I've had for a while, and it's, they're fishing knives. Now, you see here, there's my, this is one of my Dewalt boxes. Uh, one of my hobbies is getting these boxes and stripping the original dividers out and making knife storage boxes. This particular box is knives that were gifts and or um, passed down to me like my tried and true trusty old timer that's that's um, seen better days and it could be fixed and repaired but that's not how I received it you know the tip is broken on that blade this blade's been whittled down but that's my favorite carving knife I've I've carved so many projects with that knife I have my one of my all-time favorite knives here, my K-Bar Folding Hunter, 100th or 100 years of K-Bar. Absolutely gorgeous knife. One of my all-time favorites. But um, as it pertains to this video, is this little fishing knife. Let me get this out of the way. This is probably my favorite fishing knife. I got this at a uh, thrift store in a little town called Apopka, Florida. I think I paid $2.99, $3.99, something like that. I have some pictures on uh, on my Instagram. I'll copy and paste one like right over there. But this is a Camco. Okay, the blade was a little sharpened and has a little patina that I chose to leave on there. Great snap still. Uh, it's not really a half stop. This D scaler, whatever, the bottom opener, fish hook thing, all works great. Solid handles, brass. Bolsters, brass liners. It's a plastic or Dalrin type handles, but this is a solid, solid knife. And it's it's probably my favorite fishing knife. So there was that one there. Um, one of the other knives I have is this Sabre knife that was completely abused and trashed. It had yellow plastic handles on it. It was missing the descaler, but uh, it was just broken off, or, or they took it off, and it looked like they put it back together with a rock. <laughs> this The bolsters are um, all dented and bent, and uh, but I put some uh, palm wood scales on there and stripped it down to just a single blade knife um and it's a you know outside of the handles and everything being bent real bad i guess i could try to straighten it out but maybe that's for another day but i was able to rescue this knife and i made a very corny joke one day everybody was doing fixed blade fridays and i made the comment that this blade was broke and I fixed it, so it's a fixed blade. But this is one of my favorites, solely because of the work I put into it. Another fishing knife that I rescued was a very similar situation to that one. This is a Colonial. 
the handles were all tore up using a fish knife. I saved the badge and I hand whittled and hand planed with my old timer knife in there, these wood scales for it. And I couldn't be happier with it. It's very lightweight, um, great snap, good half stop, fantastic knife. And uh, it's larger than some of the others. Same size as that one. And half inch bigger than that one. But uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite knives. It's a nice, comfortable handle. Good to go. The other knife... Now, old Second Chance Georgia, he didn't have any of these knives. He had a Colonial that looked like this with the black handles, but wasn't the same. Another knife that he had today that he was really taken with was one of these. This is an Imperial. Imitation mother pearl clamshell handles. This little symbol in the back here that I haven't found an answer for yet. I don't know what it is. Someone said snail. Doesn't really look like a snail to me. But who knows, just some decorative doodad they stuck on there. But this one here, uh, outside of some patina from some moisture that got to it. This blade is untouched, never been sharpened, just right out of the box. It's an Imperial. No half stop, but great snap still. Again, it's never been used. Um, this blade has a little patina on it as well. But it's Florida, there's a lot of humidity and moisture, and this was in a shoebox at a yard sale. Brand new, in the box, and uh, a beautiful knife. In comparison to the other knives, it's quite small. Half inch or an inch, yeah, a good inch shorter. But it's a great little knife. The other knife, which I believe George said was his favorite, was one of these Colonials. Clamshell handles. Simulated stag or whatever it is. These two knives, I think I'm a, a buck and a half each on these knives. I did a video showing when I purchased these and I have not cleaned them up yet. They've been used to cut roofing. That is black roofing tar on there, but even, you know, nice half stop. But even as nasty as they are, still has a snap, which will get much better when it's cleaned up. You can hear the grit. But these are going to be for sale at the knife show. This one here, I probably won't ask too much for it because the blade's been hacked on quite a bit. Um, there's actually big serrations in the blade there. Get it to focus. I don't know what he sharpened it with, but. Probably one of those electric draw-through sharpeners, which are absolutely horrendous. I mean, I suppose there might be some out there that aren't too bad, but most of them are just terrible. They just eat the, the blades right off. But it, again, as dirty as that is, great snap. These are going to clean up just fine. But there you go, George. 
the one you liked, the other one you liked, and this kind of looks like the other colonial that you had. But I too like my fishing knives. The knife doctor has had some pretty nice ones that he's fixed up. There you go. I believe I have two or three others that are, well, I know one's in a tackle box because it gets used quite often. And I believe there's one in my truck. Um, they're very similar to, you know, one of these colonials. I, I think I think it's an imperial that I have in a tackle box. They're great knives. So there you go, guys. A little video shout out to Secondhand George. Um, going to do another shout out of sorts. Ellaville Knife Show coming up November 16th in Ellaville, Georgia, sponsored by the Knife Doctor. Please go to his channel and look at some of the videos. He's got a great venue uh, video where he shows off the venue. Um, also, look for the video where he shows the exclusive Baron Sons knife that will be for sale only at the knife show there was he had 100 of them made by Baron Sons. i will not give any more details you have to go over there look at his uh his channel to see that knife i'm going to really try to come up with the money to get one for myself Again, that knife show is November 16th and a Saturday in Ellaville, Georgia, hosted by the Knife Doctor. Um, it's going to be a fantastic time. Myself, Aaron at AW Customs is going to be there. Um, Terry, Terry, I have a man stuff said he's going to be there. Um, Deep South Cut Cutlery is going to be there. There's going to be a bunch of people there. Uh, we don't I don't have a list. Um, Life Doctor hasn't really uh, published a list of who's going to be there. But it's going to be a fantastic time. And yes, I've taken some odds and ends of things to sell. But the main reason for going there is getting to meet folks like Aaron and Terry and Kevin and all the subscribers who say they're coming. It's just going to be a fantastic time. So with that, we're going to close up. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until I see you again, have a beautiful day.